Lesson Adaptive Learning Moodle's lesson activity enables teachers to create content which can adapt to a learner's responses. This is useful for decision making exercises, simulations, independent revision, and subject practice. Learners can choose their own path through the content. In this first aid lesson, teaching CPR, the course participant can first choose whether they wish to read text or watch a video. Then, when they've taken in the information, they're presented with some quick questions to check understanding. Let's explore how this lesson is made. Our teacher adds a lesson by turning on the editing, selecting lesson from the activity chooser, giving it a name and description which can be displayed on the course page by ticking the box. Other settings can be expanded by clicking the links. Appearance Show more displays all possible options. Administrators can decide what displays by default and what is accessed from the show more link. And the help icons give more information about each setting. A file useful during the lesson can be uploaded in the linked media section and will display in a side block on the desktop or a button on the Moodle app. A percentage progress bar, a menu that's a list of pages can also be displayed. The figure in the maximum number of answers defines the response options our teacher has for each lesson page and can easily be changed later. Availability. Lessons can have a time limit and a password, but a time limit can't be used if students are going to do the lesson offline on the Moodle app. Flow control. Here we can let students review, but not repeat the lesson, let them try questions again and decide how often, and decide what happens when they answer correctly. Other settings are similar to other activities, but it's worth knowing that in activity completion, you can specify a minimum time spent before the lesson is marked complete. Save and display takes our teacher to the edit tab to decide what to add first. Note, it's helpful to plan your lesson structure in advance so you know where you're heading. Existing questions can be imported in certain formats. A cluster is a group of question pages which appear randomly to students. Find out more in the documentation. A content page contains information, while a question page offers a type of question, for example, multiple choice. So let's first look at the content page. Lessons can contain text, images, videos and links. Once our teacher has added the content, it's important to make the connections, that is, jumps, to subsequent pages. That's why it's really important to have planned your lesson structure first so you know where you're jumping to. This is the first page, and here are the options to jump to. We'll leave them as they are for now as we haven't made any other pages, but when there are other pages, these will appear as names in the list of options. So our first jump will be to a video page and our second jump will be to a text page. We'll leave them as they are for now. Saving the page displays its title, its type, this is a content page, jumps and actions, deleting, editing, duplicating, adding a new page, etc. We're seeing the collapsed tab. The expanded tab shows the same information but in more detail. Most times you'll be happy with the collapse tab. We need to add two pages, one with a video and one with text. So we click add a new page, add content page and then add our video. In the jumps let's give the option of going back to read the text and also of testing yourself. These pages don't exist yet, so we'll ignore the jumps for now. Then we need to click again, add a new page, add content and add our text page. Now let's look at those jumps. Our lesson isn't going to navigate correctly until we fix the path through the pages. So we return to the first page by clicking the edit icon and go to the jumps. 
Now the video page is visible as an option, so we can link to it. And we can link to the text page as a second option. We need to repeat this for other pages. Finally, a question page will test the learner's understanding. So we click to add a question page and decide the type of question, perhaps multiple choice. Answers can include links, media and images. When the student gets the question correct, we can, if we want to, direct them to the end of lesson. If the student gets the question wrong, we can, if we want to, make them remain on the same page until they get it right. Here's the editing screen of the finished lesson and it's important to check all the jumps are correct with named pages. Don't rely on next or previous page, even if you think your navigation is OK. What students see. As our student navigates through the lesson, remember we added a time required completion condition to ensure she read or watched the materials thoroughly. If she reaches the end of the lesson before that required time, she won't be allowed to complete it yet. Lesson has many other settings and features which we don't have time for here. Again, the Moodle documentation can give you more information. To summarise, Lesson allows you to create a personalised experience for your learners.